Let's hit it. I like Higashi. At first he was an odd character, but I like him. He's growing on me. A lot more of a softy than uh, originally would have thought. Alright, I don't think uh, Tender's too far away. Yeah, it's not too far away, so won't really worry about skipping at this point. Just kind of talk about it so far. Yeah, of course, sadly in this. It's, it's always horrible when uh, anything like that happens regarding... Uh, the truth being concealed, and especially when law and order bends itself to fit. Are you kidding? Not a wise choice. To fit their own agenda, such as in this case, the law is overlooking how 89 is actually violating many laws just because it expects it to do so much do so much good that it justifies when in many cases it, it doesn't especially when you're sacrificing unwilling human lives that should definitely pop the moral question in people's mind and hey, is this the right thing to do? Or is this something that's morally wrong that I shouldn't do? Sadly, many people who actually are uh, doing those morally wrong actions think they are in the morally right. They think they're very justified. It's sad. I can get the big guy or someone against the wall. Oh no, you didn't. There we go. Gotta get rid of some of these guys. Help Kaito get rid of this guy. I'll swap to Tiger. Now we'll focus on the big guy here. Ah, come on. Oh, this boring one. Well, at least the good news is, I think this is taking away the rest of his health. Pretty darn close. Really, guys? Wait, what one is that? I'll make space. Stamina? Yeah! I'll pop one of those in. Cool. That almost makes that uh, entirely worthwhile. So, there's my for you. Thanks for coming. How did it look outside? Did you see anyone suspicious? Not particularly. Seemed fine to me. Mind if I sit? What happened to your face? What? This? It's nothing. You said you wanted to talk to me about Morita? Yes. Specifically about how he acted tonight. It's hard to imagine the Morita I know doing that. It's almost like he's a different person. Almost like he cared more about politics than the law. Not surprising. He's right in the middle of this 89 mess. Thing is, Morita is the reason I decided to become a prosecutor. When my mother was killed in a hit and run, he was there to give me courage, show me a way forward. Right, Morito was Mafuyu's first love. I've heard. That said, 
As for why he has an interest in protecting 89, I might have an idea. Hmm? About 10 years ago, something happened to his family. Perhaps that's what changed him, made him look the other way on this. What happened? Uh, hold on. I'm not entirely sure my theory is correct. It wouldn't be fair if I misrepresented the facts. However, I just spoke to a former police detective who handled that case. I'm about to get the case file from him. Where? We're meeting at the children's park. But it felt like I was being followed, so I didn't want to go alone. So, that's our job here? We're your bodyguards? Yes. At least... That was the plan, but seeing what already happened to you... You think a couple of scratches are gonna slow me down? We'll do it. Right, Doc? If you let us see the case file, what do you say to that? Of course. It's a deal, then. We'll be your escorts. Oof, that's cold. Extorting the poor girl? Guess chivalry's dead, Mafia-chan. <laughs> Ah, oh, you're kidding me. Kim, whatever. Yeah, we'll just go right to this. Are you ready? The detective is waiting for us. Yep, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Thank you. Craig and walk with her then and have to go through a few uh, fights on the way there. Well... Do you see anyone? Not yet. There. Guess you were right on the money, Mafia Chan. Looks like they want to fight, too. Yep. Those aren't let's chat over some coffee faces. So what? Are they gonna follow us the whole way like that? What should we do? You back off a bit. We'll take care of them. Let's go, Kaito-san. Nice, some fight. Some classic fighting for Kaito. You've got this! Come for you! Not happening! Thank you, Yagami-kun. Keep going! Hell yeah! What? No love for me, Mafia Chun? Hang in there too, Kaito san! Now we're talking! <laughs> Alright, Mafia Chun's watching, so let's not screw this up! Hang in there! During this battle, enemies will target Mafia. If Mafia's health runs out, the game will end. Mafia will cheer Yagami on, replenishing his health and EX gauge. So be sure to keep her safe. Ah! <laughs> He's gotta take these guys out quick. Like no one's hit her yet. Good. So wait, are we gonna head into the children's park that's up here? Yep, looks like it. Okay. Oh, he heals me right up. That's fantastic. I haven't had to use my EX moves so far, actually. Kaito's almost out. At least for a short time. Uh oh. Got 
might get hit. This way. It's kind of like a cat game of cat and mouse. Kind of go around her in case anyone gets too close. Surprised they haven't hit her right away. Oh well, that's fine. Makes it easier on me. Eh, Kaito will catch up. Oh, jeez. I wonder what triggers them, then, to, uh, attack Mafuya. So far, they haven't even tried. Come close, but haven't even uh, gotten a hit on her. I'll just take something with me so I can do an EX on them. Or just start swinging. We're almost there. Two big guys. Oh, and some smaller guys. Okay. Lap down right there. Yeah, bike area attacks will definitely help clear the area. Protect her. Oh, so that's what it is. Threatening and then... Dang it, I was hoping to get all the way through without her losing any health, too. But now, pretty much doesn't matter. As long as she's still got some health, it doesn't matter too much. Nice, Kaito took out the other big guy. Oh, we got him all? Sweet. This is the place. He should already be here. You said he's an ex-detective, right? Yes. Let's hit it. Wait a second, actually, isn't that the guy we followed at the beginning? Uzawa-san, yes? Yep, that's me. <gasps> yeah, it is. Huh? Huh? Oh. Oh, you're the detective from before. Oh shit, Yagami. You used to be on the force? How'd you end up so scruffy? I gotta ask you the same thing. Y you two know each other? Why'd you bring these chatterheads along? Uh, well, uh, Yagami-kun, he's... He's sort of my boyfriend. What? Since when? It's not like that. Then why are you blushing? It's comedy hour over here. So? What do we have in the case? 
Ten years ago, Chief Prosecutor Moritas, older brother, strangled their mom to death. But why? A caretaker murder. His brother murdered his own... Uh, his brother murdered his own mother? Their mother was over 70 at the time, afflicted with a severe case of Alzheimer's. And they were taking care of her. Yeah. It's hard to say what a dementia patient will do if you take your eye off them, even for a second. She apparently used to leave the stove on after she cooked or wander out in the middle of the night. None of the homes had any openings for her either. Ultimately, Morita's brother took care of their mom by himself. Seems he put the burden entirely on his own back. He quit his job and moved in with their mother, all to ensure Morita was free to do his duty as chief prosecutor. He barely took breaks, barely slept, for seven whole years before the incident. All he got from his mother in return was abuse. Verbal and sometimes physical. The hell'd she do that for? It's a side effect of dementia, though not all patients exhibit it. Some cases can be suppressed, but it doesn't always work out. At the time of the incident, Morita's brother was in the midst of a serious mental breakdown. I had to guess, he'd probably been about to break for months. And the result was him murdering his own mother. Whatever became of him after all that? Ah, uh, well... Not long afterward, he tried to hang himself and failed. So they suspended his sentence until he was more stable. And where is he now? It says here he died a year later. By his own hand. Dude. His own brother killed his ailing mother and then committed suicide on top of that. Ooh. I could see a reason for wanting uh, to cure dementia then, to avoid that kind of pain. After everything his brother did, Morita was removed from the spotlight for a while. But it seems that's all in the past now. Everyone recognizes him as an unquestionable leader on the Force. So then, Morita blames Alzheimer's for all the suffering his family faced. Most likely, yes. The tragedy could have been prevented if only 89 had existed at the time. And once it does, who knows how many situations just like it could be avoided. With a tragedy like that, no wonder he's defending it. He's sure as hell not in it for the cash. Not for reputation, either. Guy's just doing what he thinks needs to be done. I suppose I can understand that. Huh? You can? You think that excuses everything that monster has done? He framed Ayabe, turned a blind eye to Emi-chan's murder, left Okubo-kun out in the cold. All because this fucking drug needs to get fast-tracked? How can you begin to think that's right? How? If Morita can decide what needs to be done, then so can we. I'm gonna protect every last person they've trampled. I'm going to get revenge for Emi-chan. Interesting. <laughs> what is? Oh, <laughs> it's just uh, really obvious he used to be a lawyer. Used to? I've still got my badge. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Hey, lay off the gambling, yeah? You lose more than you win. Yeah, whatever you say. Yagami-kun, I think it'd be best if you hold on to these files. You talk. Make sure she gets home safe, will you? Alright, so we're... Escorting her to the taxi or hey, something? since we're close, do you mind if we drop in on salary? Oh, sure. What's up? Oh, no reason. She just likes seeing the two of us together. 
Oh. Oh, what now? Uh, whatever. I was gonna go fill her in on what happened tonight anyway. Why? Keto never would have ended up in Kamurocho if not for Saori. And her honey trap. A honey trap? You can't be serious. Hmm. The more she learns. Alright, let's check on Saori then. Huh? Yo, I, um. Uh... Yagami san. I didn't realize you'd be stopping by. Awfully suspicious. Just what were you two up to in here? Um, not much. Guess we should go then. Hey, how did everything go with Keto? Hold on. I want to know what you two were up to first. Well, Hoshino-kun was just... Okay, 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 okay! This is all just a big misunderstanding! Or maybe not? Or maybe it is? Maybe you'll get further next time. Is it just me, or is Sari-san enjoying this? Oh, yeah. Huh. <laughs> I've heard. It's horrible what happened to Morita's mother. So the prosecution is all working to protect AD-9? The chief prosecutor is, at the very least. He and Ichinose stepped in and kicked us out of Shono's lab, after all. Yeah, if that doesn't tell you that's corrupted and that they're protecting it, what will? <laughs> This is all my fault. I'm the one who told Morita that Yagami-kun would be there. If I had only gone to Izumita instead... Don't think like that. There's no knowing who's on what side. We can't trust anyone except ourselves. But... Um, can I say something real quick? I'm not sure I'm the best person to be defending Ayabe. Not against an enemy this powerful. Well, what do you mean? Agreed. Hoshino-kun can't handle the pressure. It has to be you, Yagami-san. Oh, ha ha. Real funny. This isn't a joke. We're dead serious. Please, Yagami-san. We're going up against the people who murdered Emi-san. Do it for her. For Okubo-san. And for Shintani-sensei. It's time for you to show the world what you think is right. No more running. Yeah, I guess so. I'll let Genda Sensei and Ayabe san know right away. This is bound to make headlines. I can see it now. Disgraced lawyer Yagami Sensei makes his triumphant courtroom return. All right, do we really need the disgraced part? <laughs> but, all right. If they both agree, I'll defend Ayabe. Guess I'll need to start digging up some more evidence. Ah, oh, so now he's defending him, and he needs to get more evidence. Ain't that nice. You walk Mafiu to her taxi, okay? Uh, about what you saw just now. <laughs> you mean the hand-holding thing? Please don't tell Genda-sensei. I don't want things to be awkward. Mm, I'm sure he already knows. Shall we? Can you stay with me until I find my taxi? Of course, Yagami can. Which point I think we're just going to the one right down the street. Yep. Is there any dialogue or something? Or Nope. Oh, okay. We'll just run straight there, though. Thank you for helping me tonight, Yagami-kun. <laughs> huh? Uh, one second. It's Izumita. Now that I think about it, he left a message earlier, too. Did you listen to it? Yes. He said he wanted to talk. It sounds like he's at Majore. Majore, huh? Guess he wanted coffee instead of booze. What should we do? You don't have to do anything. Go home where you're safe. Izumita might be on their side, too. But... I'll go instead. You? Really? I'll be fine. All right. Stay safe out there. Now 
There goes Mafuyu out of Kamurocho. Now we're gonna take a taxi to get closer to Madure.